Hello, my fellow golfers, and especially you senior golfers. You are actually looking at the senior golfers. I'm 52 years old. Uh, maybe I don't hit it like the typical senior golfer, but I'm a senior in long drive and I'm definitely a senior in golf. I started playing golf at 30, and I want to give you the three best tips I can give you uh, to really find maybe not what's correct, but something that really works, even if you're 50, 60 or 70, or maybe 80. If you follow the tips on YouTube, uh, most tips are performed by someone between 20 and maybe 35. Um, that's sad really because here in Sweden the, the majority of golfers are 45 plus. Um, as I said, I'm 52. Starting playing golf at 30, I really tried what everyone was telling me that this is golf. The problem was I couldn't do it. My body couldn't do it. So my first tip is really look in the mirror. I mean, if I look in the mirror, I realize that I'm not 25. I didn't even play golf when I was 25. My body is still pr pretty flexible, but I have never ever been fast in motions that includes the big muscles. I don't run fast, I don't jump high, um, I just has never been able to do it. So when I started playing golf, I, I, after a while I realized that I need to find not what other people think is correct, I need to find the things that work. I was lucky understanding how a slap shot in hockey was made. I mean. In hockey, you stand on skates, rotating on skates is not possible, so you don't do that. Uh, and you use body weight and arms to do the motion. And my slap shots, sh slap shots in hockey, were they were mean. They were really, really hard. So I started to do that instead. And that worked in golf too. So look in the mirror and look in the history of your sporting life. What have you done before? Maybe you can do something you did in tennis or hockey or, or uh, baseball and make golf out of that. Use your history. That's tip number one. Tip number two. I'm around 220, 230 pounds. I can use those kilos or pounds. I can use the weight of my body if I do everything in sync with the shot. If you ever had hit anything like a boxer, the boxer is not doing one, two, three. You know that the center of gravity is around here, lower parts of your stomach, about where the belly button is. So you need to move your center of gravity with the golf shot. This is how it looks. If it looks bad, it's something like this. One, two, three. I'm moving the center of gravity one way and the club in another direction. But if it looks more in sync, it looks like this. I also let my head move. When I pull back my trail hand and arm, the center of gravity wants to move and I also let my head move. Not too much. The power is here. Move and move, but don't start moving the weight and the center of gravity before the club. You will feel this. I, I, I'm probably not going to hit this ball at all, but I'll try to do it. One, I, I, I just don't know how to do it. I need to do it somewhat in sync with the club. I need to move with the club. 
I think one of the longest hitters in, in history uh, at a higher age, Mike Austin, told us to dance with the club. Like we should just do something together with the club. And that's a good metaphor for, for how we should do it. We're not going to dance with someone going this way and we're going that way. We're doing it one, two, one, two. We're moving with the club. And then you actually get some help from gravity. So instead moving it in sync looks like this. Then my body moves. It doesn't need to move fast, but it needs to move in the same direction. Again, just like a boxer. Boom. He wants to move forward, hitting forward, going backwards, hitting forward. No power is left. Moving in sync with your weight, it feels kind of effortless. This Saturday, I competed in a Scandinavian long drive competition, and it's uh, I hit probably one of the best drives I hit in many, many years. Uh, it was wet, so it was all carry, and it carried 328 meters. That's like 358. That's long, 358 yards at 52 years old. But how can I even do that? And how can I help you to hit the golf ball a lot longer? What everyone is telling you is that you need to rotate faster. But we can use the slow rotation to our advantage because something else can speed up. I use, if my body is moving very fast, I need to be extremely fast to hit up on the ball. But moving slow in here, I can use a faster club to reach the low point before the golf ball. I hit up on the ball. The problem with, again, finding what works instead of what is correct in all the methods and the books you, you've probably seen or heard, is that most people, they try to do what other people say is correct instead of finding what they can do and what is correct for them. I want you to find what works and you're really on the right channel because all my tips are based on a senior slow body. So I use my arm, I load my shoulders. Listen to this. I don't load my shoulders by rotating. I load my shoulder by doing this. My arm is moved by my shoulder muscles. It's going to the side and it's going up. All I need to do to square up the club face is go back. Boom! It's the chest. The muscles here. I go back. It's the back side of your shoulder. You can feel it. And I go back to the ball. Back swing. Forward swing. It's that's why we call it, sometimes we call it like throwing a side throw. It's a load. Now my shoulder is loaded. And unload. The muscles are here, around your shoulder. Learn to use those. And that, I have so many videos talking about this. This we all can do. And if you really want to do it, stretch a little bit, get that range of motion, be, get it to be a little bit bigger in the future. You can do more of this. So hitting up on the ball, all I need to do is find this motion. All I'm doing is one, two. If my shoulder moves my arm faster than I rotate my body, I have no problem reaching the low point before impact. I hit up on the ball. Then I don't need to hit it hard to hit it pretty long. I would say that's about 220, 230 yards. There are many 
instructors on the YouTube, on YouTube that that actually understands that this is a big part of the motion. I call it the gearbox or the transmission. We have moving the body is the it's the engine. This is the engine moving one and two. It doesn't need to be fast, but it needs to happen. Slow dance. And then we can transfer by the gearbox, we can transfer power into speed. But then you need to feel that you load and unload. If we do that correctly, we can do it a lot faster. I'm not doing what the young guns on, on TV are doing, because I can't. But I've been teaching this for 15 years in Sweden and the normal golfer I meet is not the 17 year old. It's the 70 year old. And they all can use more of this. They are not fast doing this. Some even have problems with balance. Then we just slow it down. Use more of the arm. You see, my hand is moving a lot faster. That's the part you need to be thinking about. The part you need to practice. Because if you learn to hit up on the ball, you're going to hit it further. You're probably going to hit with a greater speed too. Because when this arm motion wakes up, nobody knows what's going to happen. The goal is always progress. Nobody that becomes good in golf thinks it's going to hit a hundred perfect golf shots. But we can always get better. And that's the goal. Okay, my friends, look in the mirror. Try to figure out what you can do. Don't try to do something that someone else calls correct if it doesn't work for you. Find what works. Number two, start using the weight of your body. It doesn't need to move fast, but it needs to move in sync with the golf shot. Not one, two, three. Move your weight with the golf club. Dance with the golf club. And number three, if you want to hit it further, start using your shoulder. The shoulder is moving your arm. If you can find this, you're going to slap the ball. You're going to speed up. I call it pushing on the golf club. But it's, it's a motion you really can use. That motion is not getting old. Some of your body could get old, maybe hurt a little bit. But this part we can use. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you subscribe to my channel, all my videos about hitting the draw with this basic motion. My channel is all about making it possible for everyone to hit the golf ball better and longer. Doesn't matter if you're 17 or 70, it all works. It might not always seem correct, but it always works.